what oh it's time for another black owned makeup tutorial hopefully y'all are ready so let's get that makeup and let's get it started So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna start off with a primed face. Yes, that's why I'm looking a little ashy. I have on primer, <laughs> but I am going to start off by using my good old Insta Bake by Beauty Bakery. I actually love this foundation. As you can see, that primer really had my skin looking real ashy, but I look a little pale, so this is gonna give me all the color I need. So I really love how smooth this foundation goes on. It was a dream. Now I'm using my Alma concealer and I'm going right in, honey, getting, getting things cracking. So I am placing that underneath my eyes and I'm also going to place it in the other areas that I would like to highlight, like my nose, above my brows, like in the middle of my forehead area and on my chin as well. So as you see where I, you see where I put it, you see. <laughs> so now I'm blending everything out with my beauty blender. I love a good beauty blender. You have to have it. And that's the only thing at the time that I did not have that was black owned. Really? A beauty blender, you know? So I found some really good beauty blenders that are black owned. So I'm super excited to try those out. I'm gonna use them. So stay tuned and I will give you all the deets in the next video. So now I'm taking my Alma double-sided contour stick. So I'm going to contour with that and I'm placing it on my cheekbone area to accentuate my cheekbones and my nose and I'm going to blend it out. I actually applied a little bit too much as you can see here. I'm like, whoa. So I'm trying to, you know, remove some of it first and then I'm going to start blending it out. So. Now I'm taking my brush and my brush of course had a little bit of foundation I'm sure on it, a little residue. So, you know, it's gonna blend everything in nicely. So I'm just blending it, blending and blending and I'm blending that nose as well. So, you know, makeup is a process. So you gotta get it, you gotta get it. <laughs> so yeah, you see how much it was at first and now I'm trying to blend everything out, so. You know, it takes time, but hey, it's makeup. You can put it on, you can take it off, so no worries. So now I'm just blending everything out with my Beauty Blender, and then I'm gonna take my Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter powder, well, flower powder, whatever they call it. <laughs> and um, I just love this whole Beauty Bakery theme. It's so dope. So this is their flower, and I'm baking with that. And I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Cocoa Naughty bronzer and I am going over my contour with that that's the only thing I didn't get a picture of like this so now I am taking my baby hair by Oma and this brow pencil is so nice and small so you can really get that line in and you know not make as many mistakes as you would with a really big pencil so I really like how small this one is and I am going in with that and as you can see I really have a light hand when I do my brows because my brows are already thick so I am taking that and drawing a line above and below where my brows start just to give it a nice shape and I'm just shading in where I see needed so I'm just shading in where I see fits still <laughs> and you know like I said I, I took a really light hand with this and that's what I like to do with my brows so I'm just gonna brush everything out to get rid of any harsh lines with the other side of the pencil which I love dual sided pencils like this and I'm taking my Oma concealer and going underneath my brows with that And I'm going above it as well and I like how this concealer wasn't too light it was perfect so I was able to blend everything out easily so now I'm just you know blending it out with my brush and 
my brows look so good and I like to take my finger sometimes if it's a harsh line right in that front area I'll take it and you know blend it upward and I'm just brushing and filling in if I see you know that it needs to be filled in a little bit more now I'm taking the black magic carnival palette by Oma as well and this palette is so pigmented it's so beautiful I was about to say beautiful beautiful it's so beautiful and I love how pigmented it is and now I'm taking my Insta Bake Concealer by Beauty Bakery. And I'm actually going to take that and use that as my eyeshadow primer. So I am carving out the lids on my eyes and I am, you know, preparing my eyes for a pop of color in the center of my eyelid. I'm taking the pink color from that palette and I am going in and placing that on the outer corner of my eyelid. And I wanted to do like an ombre look. So I'm taking the pink and then I was also gonna take the purple, but something happened to where I really didn't like it. So I ended up doing the whole lid, that pinkish tone. So as you can see here, I'm just packing everything on. I don't know why I look so mad <laughs> but I was really happy <laughs> but um, yes yeah, so I'm just packing that on my lid even more so it can be nice and pigmented and have that nice pop of pink so pretty on melanin skin honey so now I'm taking my blending brush and just blending everything out and making sure there are no harsh lines anywhere. So now I'm taking my Cleopatra ink, which is a liner by Alma Beauty as well. And I am taking that and lining my lash line. So I'm gonna add a little, you know, cat eye, you know, just for a little, little razzle dazzle, you know. So um, I'm taking that and I am going to do the other eye. I love these felt tip liners because they're so easy to use. So easy. You don't have to worry about anything. Just, just make that line. And if it's too big, you can take some concealer and clean it up real quick. But I didn't have to do that, thank God. So I am just working that in. And I'm taking a little bit of black liner underneath my eyes as well. And I'm going in with a little bit more eyeshadow in that inner tear duct area. So in the inner corners of my eye. Now I'm taking my lip liner and this is a brown lip liner that I had just laying around. I don't even know why I didn't take a little video clip of me picking it up, but yes. So now I'm taking the Beauty Bakery Cream Liquid Lipstick and it's in a nude color granny's recipe and i'm taking that and i am placing that on top i love 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 this shade it looks so pretty such a nice natural look and i just love how it how it came out and then i'm lining my lips a little bit more just to make it pop now i'm taking my vibe beauty rose water and i'm using this to finish off my makeup and I'm applying some lashes as well. But onto the Vibe Beauty, like I love that rose water. You can use it when you're washing your face, doing your skincare routine, or you can use it when you're about to apply your makeup or after you apply your makeup. And it just finishes everything off, kind of like a Fix Plus or something like that. Kind of like that. So it gives you that nice hydrated look, but it just finishes everything off so it doesn't have that powdery look. So onto my hair. I'm using my Mist by Pattern Beauty, some clips, and two beautiful sunflowers. And voila, here we have it. And you see I'm applying a little bit more lipstick, you know, just for a little bit more color and a little bit more liner. And yes, so this is the completed look. 
and hopefully you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I post new videos. You don't want to miss what I have coming up. I have a lot of fresh content, a lot of new content, and you know, I'm just I'm just kicking kicking it out, honey. So, like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think about this look. Thank you all again for watching. I will see you all in the next video.